Two weeks ago, I showed my wife Kelsey Harry's House by Harry Styles, and now I'm interested to hear what she thinks of it after absorbing it. It's been two weeks since he showed me, and I've been playing it a bit in the car, taking the kids to school, jamming out to it at the house. It's really good, and I'm so, so glad that you showed it to me, awesome. because I, I mean, really only heard those two singles. Right. They're awesome, but the rest of the album's very good, too. Yep, I agree. Um, I was really interested after the reaction, like I did dig into a little bit more research and I really like that it is basically just Harry and these two other producers. Mm -hmm. Like it's very intimate and they all kind of work together to create this cohesive sound, which you had talked about. Mm -hmm. Not well, really. It's a cohesive sound, but there is a lot of variety in music. Right. And in the research I was doing, it said that this is kind of like a product of the pandemic. Everything shut down. And he's kind of just figuring things out. Right. Like he hadn't had this break since One Direction started. Mm. And so he was kind of left with like, well, what, what do I do now? Who am I if I'm not a musician? His tour came to a screeching right. halt. Mm. So he said he moved in with those friends and they pretty much didn't do anything for several weeks and then got together and started making this. Really cool. And he said intended it to be intimate. The title Harry's House... He was intending to just record it at his house, and that was going to be it. But then it started to progress, and he kind of said that the Harry's house was like your house is kind of just your, your home is your state of mind, Yeah. no matter where you are. So it kind of evolved from that, and he did end up recording in London and other places. So I think that's really cool that he said it's like a day in the life or in Harry's mind. Right. And all the different yeah. ways your mind goes during the day and the rides it takes sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Really he cool. said he couldn't have gotten through it without those friends. Really cool. Yeah. I was interested to find out that uh, Flowers by Miley Cyrus is actually produced by the two same guys. Really? So, yeah. They've had success. Okay. Quite a bit of success. I'll I'd have say. to go back and listen to it and see if I hear some similarities. Yeah. Cool. So, what are your favorite songs? Third favorite would be. Late Night Talking. Okay. Solid choice. Close contender is Keep Driving. Okay. But between the two of them, I think Late Night Talking just because it's such a jam. I Agreed. Mean, that was one of the first I heard from this. Yeah. It just kept coming on my Spotify. and yeah, Oh, it was always on the radio. Always yeah. on. So I think maybe conditioned a little bit to like that one. <laughs> I've yep. heard it more. I've heard it more. Second favorite is Music for a Sushi Restaurant. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that intro. It's so good. All the horns, the sound, just the pure sound that comes out of that song is just so incredible. Yep. I love it. It get. I mean, it sets the tone. Mm -hmm. He said that it's like, if I were to show someone what this album was like and what I wanted them to hear, that's the song I would show them. And that's why he chose that mm. for the, the first one. I was curious because it is a bold choice because I feel... His past work, I haven't heard much of it, but from what I gather, isn't quite the same. So to like come out the gate with this really groovy, funky yeah. music is bold. And like you said, it does set up the record and you kind of are like immediately put in that space and then you can kind mm -hmm. of explore it. He said he's always kind of wanted to make this fun music, this funky mm -hmm. sound, but you know, he was scared to take that risk. Coming out of One Direction, he felt like he really had to prove himself. I'm mm -hmm. the solo musician, so it was just like in that mode of, I got to make hits, I got to make singles, mm -hmm. and he was singing for his life, you know? So now he's kind of settled. He felt like he wanted, with the pandemic, he was forced to like take this look, and he's like, I want to mm -hmm. make something that I enjoy and that I want to make for me and not care about what everyone expects or what everyone thinks I should make. And I like the end product. Yep. I mean, I, th I think that's a common theme. Like when people actually go off and do what they want to do and do something different, I usually, if it's, if they're a good artist, I mean, that comes yeah. together in a great way. And yeah, I love that. Me too. So my absolute favorite is As It Was. Okay. I mean, it is so Three catchy. Three billion streams. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's his biggest song to date, streaming-wise. So, I mean, 
no surprise there, but it's so good. I just love the melody and I really, I love the beginning, the little tidbit. He said it says Goddaughter. Mm -hmm. Come on, Harry, we want to say goodnight to you. Which oh, gave gosh. away what the artist was in our video because oh, yeah. you read the, you read the Harry. lyrics <laughs> like, Harry, is this Harry Styles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. Yeah, that was a really cool moment for sure. Cool. I think that it, you know, as it was, is a great song. I think when I'm looking at the album, I overlook it because I've heard it so much. I, yeah. I, like, I feel like that happens with singles sometimes. Like, right. you're like, I've heard it so much. You don't really appreciate it like you once did. Um, but yeah, my favorite, definitely music for a sushi restaurant, like you said. Grape juice. I don't know. I just love that vibe. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. And then cinema, which I had also said in yeah. the original. But. I kind of figured that was one of your favorites. As I was also researching, he said that in making this, he didn't listen to any music when he started recording, like any other music, so that he wasn't affected by other sounds. And so he could kind of start with a blank canvas. Yeah. That's cool. I appreciate that. He said a lot of his other stuff was heavily inspired by his favorite musicians, people that he's looked up to. And he said, this one, as much as you can't strip away all yeah, of your yeah. musical you influences, your history you know, it. he said he didn't want it to be like inspired by anything currently going on. Really cool. I think he achieved it because it's a, oh yeah. There's I mean, no I really skips. haven't heard much like it, especially this mashup of songs. Mm -hmm. There's quite a variety. It's got dance, funk. I mean, takes it down with Matilda and gets really emotional. Yeah. Some folk. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's all over the place, but like we said, it works. Yeah. And I think that's in part with what I said earlier. I mean, it was just the three guys, so that really helped mm -hmm. keep it cohesive. So. For sure. Cool. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Me too, because now I got a new album to listen to and some songs to add to my playlist. <laughs> yeah. And the kids. Kids are already singing some of them. Yep. Well, can't wait to show you another album that you love just as much. <laughs> Me too. If you enjoyed watching this, check out some other videos. The suggestion coming up. Also, if you haven't seen our initial reaction, check that out. Yep. See you guys in the next one.